Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I run the blog lifefromtheviolasection.com where I share my favorite practice tips, general advice, and tech for musicians. Today I'm going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 series and if they're a good option to read sheet music off of as a musician. So if you've never seen me or my channel before, I use an iPad Pro 12.9 inch display to read sheet music off of and I make lots of videos all about that. So a lot of what I say about the Samsung tablet is going to be compared to the iPad. I think that's basically all the reference that we can understand because the iPad is like the tablet of all tablets and it's like someone's first choice when they think of a tab tablet usually. So I'm gonna compare a lot of the specs to that and be sure to check out my blog through the link in the description because I will have a nice chart comparing all three models of the Samsung Tab S8 the S8, the S8 Plus, and the S8 Ultra, along with some iPad specs too, so you can compare them all. And I have a lot of other handy resources on my blog, Life from the Viola section. So there are three models of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8. The first is the standard S8. The screen size is 11 inches. It comes with eight gigabytes of RAM and either 128 or 256 gigabytes of storage. The second model is the Tab S8 Plus, this one has a screen size of 12.4 inches, so pretty comparable to my iPad Pro. This one also only comes in eight gigabytes of RAM with either 128 or 256 gigabytes of storage. And the final fanciest version of the Tab S8 is the Tab S8 Ultra. This one has a huge screen size of 14.6 inches. It can come with either eight, 12, or 16 gigabytes of RAM and either 128, 256, or 512 gigabytes of storage. All models of the tablet come with the S Pen for free, so you don't have to pay an extra 100 plus dollars like you would for the Apple Pencil if you were buying that with an iPad. So that is thrown in there for free. It's a Bluetooth pen and it integrates with the tablets very nicely. If you're a musician, having a Bluetooth pen, especially one with palm rejection, is going to be very important to mark up your music, write in all of your notes, and all of those things. It's one of the most important parts of having a tablet as a musician, at least in my opinion. If you're considering one of these tablets, I highly suggest going to see them in a store somewhere in person just to see how large the screen sizes are. The smallest model is like the small model of the iPad Pro, 11 inches. The medium model is almost as big as the larger iPad Pro and the Ultra model is more giant than any iPad ever made. So you might want to go ahead and see them all in person before deciding which one to buy, just to be sure that it's not going to be too large or too small with the smallest version. So let's talk about how this line of tablets are similar to the iPads. Both of these tablets have flat edges and a rounded display, so rounded screen. They both have four speakers, two on the bottom, two on the top. They both have smart connectors for a nice keyboard, the screens have a high refresh rate and they look really good. And the webcam on the front also has a video tracking feature similar to center stage that the newest models of the iPad have. So that's where the, um, the camera kind of follows you around. If you're moving, the camera is gonna like go with your face and kind of zoom in a little bit. It's kind of weird, but it can be a nice feature if you're doing a lot of video calling while you're moving around. Maybe if you're like cooking or walking all over your house or something. So here are a few ways that these lines of tablets are different from iPads. First of all, they're much longer and skinnier than iPads. They have a 16 to 10 ratio, so it's really great for watching movies. That aspect ratio is going to fill the screen with just small black bars at the top and bottom. It'll look great. But for music, it's going to be longer and narrower than a sheet of paper, whereas iPad is a four to three ratio, and it's very similar to how a piece of paper is set up. So switching from paper sheet music to digital sheet music, if you're looking to get one of these Samsung tablets, might not be as seamless of a transition as it is for iPad because it's just not quite the same aspect ratio as a piece of paper. These Samsung tablets have front facing cameras, but they are on the side, like the long edge of the screen. iPads have cameras on the top of the screen. So this is great if you're video calling and you want to have a landscape view. But the thing that they did with this is that there's a tiny little notch for the front facing cameras. So if a notch bothers you, that might not be great. It's, it is a tiny little notch, hardly noticeable from the videos that I've seen and from hearing about other people use it. 
but if you're mainly using this to read G music, you're probably going to have a white background and you might notice that little cutout in the side. If that's something that might bother you and distract you while you're playing music, then it might not be a great thing. I know it's a tiny little detail, but it kind of matters since it's so visual. One of the really, really great features of these Samsung tablets is that they have room for a micro SD card. So you can expand the storage without spending a ton of money for a different model or an upgrade. So if you run out of room and you need some more space to, show you, to store your sheet music, you can get a micro SD card and just easily have way more room. That's a great feature that I wish Apple used, but they never have and they probably never will. So very cool feature that Samsung added. The Galaxy S8 line has very small bezels. That's like the black part around the display. And it looks really nice, really sleek, but if you're trying to hold it with two hands without a case, it's gonna be a little difficult to not touch the screen. You probably should use a case because these are so expensive and they're really large and everything, but I, that's your decision. The nice thing about having small bezels is that you've got more screen real estate for your sheet music and you can make it larger and you don't have to have so much unused space on the tablet. Though I don't think the iPad bezels are very large either, but the Samsung ones are even smaller, even skinnier. The Samsung tablets don't get nearly as bright as iPads, so if you do a lot of outdoor gigs in the sun or somewhere where it's really bright, these tablets might not get bright enough for you to really read your sheet music easily. It depends on your eyes and how comfortable you are, how well you know the music, the situation that you're in, all of that, but that's something to consider about whether or not this is actually gonna get bright enough for you. From what I've heard, it's bright enough to use indoors just fine, but outdoors it's a little difficult to use. So definitely keep that in mind if you perform outside a lot. So all of these models come with the S Pen, which is Samsung's version of Apple Pencil, or just their Bluetooth pen that just automatically connects and interacts with your tablet. So from what I've heard, I don't own this tablet, but from what I've heard, um, this pen has a little more friction than the Apple Pencil does on the iPad, so it might be a more realistic writing experience if you struggle writing on an iPad. I personally don't have any trouble writing on the iPad and I have a regular like glossy screen protector on it, but if you don't like the feel of the Apple Pencil on the iPad, you might like the S Pen better. One thing to know about the S Pen is that where the Apple Pencil charges on the side, of the iPad, the S Pen magnetizes and charges on the back. It can also magnetize to the side of the Tab S8, but it will not charge there. You can only charge it on the back. So that can get a little clunky, probably, especially if you wanna charge it while you're sitting it on a stand, it might not sit flush and that might get a little weird, a little annoying. Just a thing to note. I know a lot of us can be wary of using Android tablets because they seem so stuck in the past and like they've always seemed so small and just not very, I don't know, intuitive maybe, but I have heard that Google is working on a new Pixel tablet and so when that comes out, they will probably be really optimizing all of the apps in the Google Play system to work better on tablets. So you might have a really, really smooth experience and I think since Samsung is like, such a good well-known company in the Android world that you would have a good experience anyway, but I think it's coming along and improving a lot better. I know Android tablets have been really behind where iPads are for a while, but I think with the Tab S8 line, everything is kind of just getting a lot better. It's also easy to convert this somewhat to a computer with a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse. You can kind of turn it into a better like computer workspace. The iPad still kind of feels like a tablet when you use it as a computer. I love my Logitech Combo Touch keyboard. Um, it's not connected right now, but it has a touchpad and it works beautifully, but I just prefer the file organization on a computer over a tablet. So that's why I say the iPad isn't so much a computer, but it is very easy to use and navigate with the keyboard and the touchpad and all of that. One thing to note as a musician, none of these Samsung models come with a headphone jack. Neither do any of the new iPads. I think maybe the original iPad, like the iPad line, not iPad Air, not iPad Pro, like iPad line, I think that one did bring back the headphone jack recently or else it never got rid of it. 
but those screens are pretty small so it's kind of hard to use that to read sheet music off of but if a headphone jack is something you're specifically looking for you would have to get a dongle to use with this one and speaking of ports this line does use USB-C ports just like the iPads do now pretty pretty standard so for some more detailed specs and just to see comparison of the entire line of tablets along with iPads too, just to get a reference of how it fits in, those will be on my blog lifefromtheviolasection.com so if you're interested be sure to check those out. If this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I post new musical videos every Sunday at noon Easter time except I won't be next week because I'm going to be moving and I'm super excited. So I'll see you all again soon with some more musical content. Thank you for watching.